these were the pages right here that I made from um, sword ferns in my yard, just uh, petals and leaves that I collected out of the yard and used them on the jelly plate. Uh, this is going to be really pretty. It's got some of the gold interference in it. This one has a doily in it. And uh, so this is the, the floral segment of what I was doing yesterday. And this was one of the little florals. If you remember, I just cut out some paper and pulled some lines in before I did the, the actual pull. And this is the piece that I'm going to work on um, today here for you. And these little birds right here were actually the cutouts I used for this, uh, this little jelly. And um, I think they went like this. Uh, I really love these little cutouts. You can use them for other things. Um, this one, I think this was actually here. And it doesn't really matter. One way or another, I'm going to use them. I think I may use this in this little guy. So I'll still play with these. But for right now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this one. So first of all, I talked to you about having a mat. Um, I'm taking my mat, and, and the mats come with a hard board. So when I'm done, I'm going to adhere this to the board because it's just done on computer paper. And I go in and kind of figure out where I want my, my design to be. And I think that's going to look really pretty. So um, I'm going to add these little birds. I know that's a for sure. And let me just do a little mark on each of these just so I know how far out I can go. I probably shouldn't be doing this with a Stabilo, but it's what's right there in front of me. So I've always got this little box on my desk uh, where I throw all my scrap, my little scrap papers. You know, anything I rip off or I'm not using, I throw in here because I know I'll end up using it. And I just pulled out a few things uh, that I thought I might be able to use. There is this um, paper, which is, uh, it's, it's like a tissue. It's almost like a deli wrap, a uh, deli paper. So I'm going to take this and I'm just gonna kind of roughly, let's see if I can do this right. Uh, this paper is really hard to tear for some reason. But I have, that's gonna be a flower. Let me rip another one out. I actually don't mind some of the uh, the letters being in there, the numbers. But I do want my edges to be a little ragged. That could be one. And maybe I need a little bit more pink in there, so I could stick that in. Um, I have another. And this is when it comes in handy to have a whole bunch of jelly papers made that are already in colors. So when it comes time to do something like this, you've already got colors pulled. Um, I love this paper. This has some text in it. And I like that creamy color. So maybe this can be a flower too. Ooh, that looks very much like a heart. Don't really want a heart in here. Not that that would be bad, but maybe I'll go like this and make it a heart with a petal. Just kind of making it up as I go along. There, there's another little flower. And uh, I, I kind of like that. I don't need it to be over overkill. So now let me do some little, um, I like this. I love adding in my uh, paint palette colors. So I like that. And I also like this. And I'm always going back and checking to see what my composition is. 
I'm liking that. I know my little birds are going to probably, oh, they'd be kind of cute sitting right there. I have another number. I think I want this number just floating for no apparent reason. I have another piece, and these are just cutoffs from something else. There's another piece of sheet music that can go there. Um, what else do I have? I have some more text on tissue paper that can maybe float right in there. Now, how's this looking so far? I like it. I kind of like it. So I'm going to take my um, matte medium. That's what I'm taking, my matte medium. I'm going to pour a little bit out here. Got a brush. And I'm just going to start laying some of this down. Uh, maybe I should put this here where it's closer to where a stem would be. Lay that down. When you're working with small pieces like this, you can kind of control how it lays down uh, just using your brush. Oh, here's a great stem right there, but I think that might be a little too far off my, my page, but I'm going to put it there because it makes sense. And maybe I'll just move this little flower. Where will I move that guy? Let me put him right here. Remember, I wanted another little piece of pink with him. I don't know what I did with that, but easy enough to just add a little chunk. I like these little numbers. I'm going to put him right there. For no other reason that then I just like it. I like it. it. has a little bit of pink and turquoise in it. Um, here's one more flower. I don't even really know if I need this now. I want to add this paper in here. And this should become pretty transparent. This, this piece, now this is a little heavier paper. If you really wanted to make this easy, you could dip this in a little bit of water and it would um, adhere. It, it would just become a little bit more flexible to stay on here to lay it down. So you wouldn't have to be fighting the thickness and trying to get this to lay down on another piece of paper. I like that. Now let me make sure we're still looking okay. Gotta make sure that's straight. I can always change the the angle of my um, mat a little bit, but I think he's a little off. It's a little easier to do this when you're working on a canvas or a board. Oh, now I think it's really crooked. There we go. And I could easily be using a gel medium for this, which would probably be a good idea because it's a little thicker. Um, this piece right here is on watercolor paper. And it's got a couple collaged pieces on it already from another piece that I did. It's feeling a little wonky. Easy enough to switch it around when I'm at this point. Soak those little birds for a minute. Put them in a little water so they lay down. Oh, 
Oops. Get back up there, little guy. And I do want this piece in there. Maybe my little birds have to move up a little higher. Because I'd like to have this break right there. And I want that to show. I'm going to dip that in water too. But dipping them in water just makes them a little bit more moldable to put onto your piece. There we go. Now let's check this one more time. That looks pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Now I could keep going on this. I could put stenciling on here. I think I've got it pretty busy. So I think for this piece, I have, um, I have enough going on. I really don't need to add more. Um, I could add some fun little sim uh, simple things. Let me see, what do I got here? I have a stamp and I have green ink. Let's see if this will work. Just a little bit of print in there. Um, I think I'm actually good with this. Now, once this dries, I'll then come back in with my Stabilo and maybe play around with it, uh, with my Stabilo in here. I would do it right now, but I'm afraid um, I might mess something up and I don't want to do that, but I could easily, uh, what could I do? I'm dying to just make some kind of a mark, but I, I think I'm gonna halt. I think I'm gonna resist the temptation right now because I'm at a point where I want to let this dry before I do anything. But there's the start. That, that's a pretty good start. If I do anything, I'll just come in and make a couple little marks with with my stabilo, and um, that's gonna be a fun little piece.